So, you want to play Fantasy Star Online online? Well, whether you're a new player or a veteran who wants to dust off an old save file, it couldn't be easier to get your GameCube or Wii online. In this video, I'll show you how to connect your GameCube. Official servers shut down in April 2007, so now I use a private server known as ShitServe. It's free to use and supports all the original versions of Fantasy Star Online. To connect, you'll of course need a Nintendo GameCube, a copy of PSO, an Ethernet cable, and a GameCube broadband adapter. Assuming you already have the console, the game, the cable, and the adapter should cost you about £100. But of course, you can always try the game offline first before tracking down that expensive adapter. Connecting the GameCube The adapter is installed into the base of the console. You will need to run the Ethernet cable to your router to receive the internet signal. Step 2. Create a ShitServe account and Hunter's license. Create a login on shitserve.com, then you'll need to create a Hunter's license. Visit the My HL page and click the GameCube icon. Originally, your Hunter's license was the subscription you bought from Sega to access their servers. Using an access key and a serial code, the server would verify you as a unique and legitimate player. PSO still requires a Hunter's license access key and game serial code when connecting online. For the original server, you needed to use the serial code printed on the back of the PSO manual, but ShitServe lets you create your own in case your manual is missing. And as Sega is no longer generating Hunter's License access keys, you create this number yourself too. Just enter any arrangement of numbers so long as it's unique to you. Entering these codes in-game is what will grant you access to the shit server. Once you've created these numbers, make a note of them and keep them alongside your copy of PSO. Step 3. Entering Network Information From the PSO title screen, go to Options then Network Options, and select Provider Options to edit the connection settings. If this is your first time connecting, you'll need to save a network file to your memory card and load it. If you have previous connection data, you can simply load that network file instead. Following this, open the Network Setup page. Here you can choose the provider options you wish to change by selecting Edit. You can change the name of your provider here, but that's optional and won't affect your connection. On the following page, you'll need to choose automatically obtain an IP address and also do not automatically disconnect. On the next screen, you'll set a DNS server address using ShitServe's IP address. The IP addresses you need can be found on the ShitServe homepage at any time. Copy these into your game. Keep DCHP as not set. The settings for proxy ports are optional, although you may need to set one if required by your internet service provider. If you have trouble connecting, revisit this page and check your router for proxy settings. Once you've saved all these settings, return to the title screen, choose online from the main menu and select your character. Step 4. Entering your Hunter's License Information After your character has loaded in, your GameCube will connect online and ask you for your Hunter's License information so grab the access key and serial code you wrote down before and enter them exactly. Once you've entered your Hunter's license numbers and your password to your ShitServe account, you'll be connected to the server, and there you have it. This connection shouldn't take more than a few seconds. As ShitServe is a private server running as a non-profit community, connection is completely free and legal. I hope you found this how-to guide helpful. If you have any issues connecting, contact the ShitServe forums or Discord page for more advice. Thanks for watching.